you guys it's Kristen with another chance resale look at all this jewelry we get to go through today so not only do we have a savers jewelry jar but we have some church tag sale jewelry we have some jewelry I pulled out of my antique booth and we have some jewelry that I bought this past weekend so we got a lot going on so let's get into it if you are interested in anything you see, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, please make sure you're giving me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase so there's no confusion. Um, we need your PayPal email and mailing address if you have not bought from me before. Um, it is a new week, so we can uh, hold your items for the week if you would like, but items have to be paid for up front and shipping will be done at the end of the week. Um, I will keep a sold list down in the comment section and I will also have all my information in the description box. Okay, so let's clear this off. Uh, you know what, we'll start with my booth stuff since it's the only thing not in a bag or a box. <clears throat> so, um, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I do have two antique booths in an antique mall. And I was t talking about recently um, probably closing them down. Um, there's been a lot going on with a takeover of a new owner. Um, so right now, you know, we're going to leave it because it's about to be the holiday season and usually I do really well, uh, during the holiday season and plus I really don't want to be moving two antique booths worth of stuff out in the cold weather. So, um, we're going to hang in there for now and see how it goes. Um, but I did pull out a lot of older inventory. Um, I usually do this every once in a while. Um, I am going to be having a live sale Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be no recorded video this day. Um, it's just going to be me and Kyle, and I'm going to sell a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to do all kinds of things. So, you know, I have stuff pulled from my booths. I have some fall and Halloween items. I have a little bit of jewelry, I have a little bit of shoes, uh, so I have even some crystals, so uh, you name it and I'll probably have it. So we'll see you there Wednesday here on my channel. Um, also, I want to mention Margie from Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. Um, I, would pull, I will put her information down in the description box along with her channel uh, link. So you can click it and subscribe to her. She has become a friend of mine and she sells jewelry. Actually, she does a little bit of everything. She uh, does live sales and she, uh, you know, collaborates with other YouTubers. Uh, she sells hard goods, um, jewelry, purses. So please check her out. I'll put her link in the description box and subscribe. And then another announcement really quick. We're gonna do a Friday morning purse sale. So this Friday, I am actually going to be hanging out with my sister. Um, you know, me and Kyle are going to be going over and spending Friday night with my sister and her husband. And we are going to watch Hocus Pocus 2, yay! <laughs> I know our husbands are not exactly too thrilled, but we are. So I will be posting the purse sale Friday morning. It won't be too early. Um, I'm not really sure when. I'm thinking maybe 11 or 12 Eastern Standard Time. Um, but just keep an eye out. Make sure you are subscribed and that bell is clicked to all. So then you will get the notification when it launches. So, um, okay, those are my three announcements. So now let's get into the booth jewelry. So these are my little cards that I made. And, um, you know, I had them in my my booth and you know I have my eBay closet my uh, email in case someone needed to reach me that's my booth number um, and this is just a metal heart brooch and I will offer it to you guys for four dollars as well um, if there's no maker on it I would put if there was a maker on it so that's four dollars it kind of has like the mixed metal 
to it. So we'll do four on that. So these are really pretty. Um, these are sterling silver and black pearl. And I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how they didn't sell. Um, but that's okay. So they are sterling silver and black pearl. And for you guys, I will do $15. So 15 on these. They almost got like a little Victorian vibes going on. We have an eagle brooch, gold tone with the pearl. There is one little boo-boo right there. All right, and the back, there's no maker marks. And we'll do five on that. Make sure my uh, screen is clear. So I have these I thought were really cool. These are dragons on here, and it's like a carved um, like resin, I guess. Um, with, uh, you know, like a green iridescent bead, the red up there. Um, there are post back, and I will do $5 on these. These are sterling silver. This is actually uh, quite a bit of sterling silver on here with glass beads, kind of like an amberina at the bottom. So they are um, wire. And I will do, um, let's keep these at 15 because th these have quite a bit of sterling on them. Okay, then keeping with the sterling, I have these. These are actually handmade. They're sterling and turquoise with uh, stainless steel hooks. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do 15 on these. 15. Then I have this really pretty gold tone and black rose brooch. It is unmarked. And I will do five on it. Pretty large. I have a little... Cloisonne flower. And we'll do five on this one. I have these pretty silver tone crown studs. And I'll do four. <clears throat> this I'm surprised didn't sell. This is so cute. This is a wooden brooch that says, I love antiques. And we'll do five. I have a Danecraft star brooch. We'll do five. It is marked on the back. We have some Lee Sands earrings. These are post back, $5. The Scotty dog brooch. How cute is he? Not marked. We'll do $5. Really nice condition on that one. We have a dogwood brooch. We'll do $5, it's unmarked. We have the clown clock brooch. <laughs> okay, not marked, we'll do $5. These are sterling silver and onyx. The little wire backs. Um, I'll do 10 on these, $10. And then lastly, I have a Wells 14 karat gold filled brooch. And I'll drop this one to $10. And it is marked, uh, where was it? Oh, over here. Okay, so 10 on that. Okay, so that, so that ends the my booth jewelry. Let's do this jewelry that I picked up at a sale over the weekend. Actually, I'll keep it in the bag. Actually, you know what? I'll dump it out and then I'll put it back in the bag when I'm done. There we go. All right, let's look at this first. This is so cool, you guys. It's a Kate Spade brand new 
with tag. The tag is a little messed up in the back, but this would make a great gift. Holidays are coming. Matches my nails. <laughs> Kate Spade. It does open. And it is a seven inch circumference. And I will do, <clears throat> I'll do $10 on this. Okay, they're all in little baggies. So I'm gonna put them right back into the baggie. These are just gold tone <clears throat> hoop earrings. Really nice condition, nice size. I'll do $4. These are really cool chandelier earrings with faux pearls. Okay, I'll do $4 on those. They are post back. <clears throat> Here, if you want to buy that dogwood brooch, I have, I found these. I'm like, oh my gosh, it matches the, the brooch I just took out of my booth. So these are dogwood studs. They're a little different, but I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. These are not marked, but I will do $4 on those. <clears throat> I saw this really pretty brown rhinestone brooch so pretty and in really nice shape so we're going to do five dollars on that one this is by ct oops geez ct it's a brooch and a pendant and it's a really pretty little chick with some rhinestones and enamel so let's do $5 on the little chickie. So these kind of look like the other earrings I just showed you with the pearls. But these have like a red stone. You know what? I wonder if these are... I don't, I don't think they would be garnet, but let's turn on Pressy and see. So while Pressy's warming up, because they do look like they could be garnet. So let's hang on to those for a second and we'll pull, we'll pull Pressy out and wait for her little light to light up. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of water while we wait because my throat is going crazy. Okay, come on Pressy. Let's go, Pressy. All right, well, I guess we can show something else in the meantime. We have this very large gold tone tree brooch. Oh, there she goes with the rhinestones. So let's do six on that. It looks like broccoli. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oh, what would, oh, oh, nope. I think they're just glass. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, maybe they are real garnet. See, I don't know because, oh, maybe they are. Maybe they are because it's going past the glass. So, but I don't think that they're sterling. No. So, all right, that maybe they just, you know, put some garnets in there. That's really cool. That's, it's really pretty. So let's do, um, let's do eight on these. All right, let's see what else we found. I thought this brooch was pretty cool, super vintage. It's not marked, but it's red and gold. Really nice condition. We'll do five. We 
This is a really cute uh, faux turquoise bracelet. Now that I have it in my hands, because I didn't really take it out of the bag, it's, I think it's just acrylic. <laughs> and there's two sizings, so it can go from seven or eight inches. No markings, so we'll do five on that. We have this little uh, bow brooch. This one says AAI. We'll do five dollars. This one I grabbed because I had one similar to these, to this one that I've sold. So I grabbed this little cutie. A little fur kitty cat. We'll do six on that one. <clears throat> These are just some silver tone earrings for pierced ears. We'll do four bucks. This is a gold tone, I guess it's wheat, right? Kind of like a matte gold tone, but super nice condition. No maker marks, $5. <clears throat> These are abalone earrings. They do have a post, post dangle bits, dangly bits, really super pretty. We'll do five on those. These I thought were so cool too. So these have posts as well. But then they're like these really pretty purple little grapes with the little leaves on top. How cute is that, right? So we'll do five on those. These might be Avon, I don't know. I think I've sold these before. <clears throat> five bucks. This one I saw was marked and it says, oops, it says 120th 14 karat gold filled. So we will do $5. I have these little like kind of like love knot earrings, po uh, studs. They are gold tone. I don't see any markings. Ooh, hmm. They are not magnetic. I don't think they're gold. They definitely do not look like it. So we're gonna do them for $5. One actually looks a little bit more gold than the other. Let's see. Yeah, five dollars. I have these earrings. I thought these were pretty with the rhinestones, gold tone. Four dollars. This guy, I had to grab. He is so cool. He is a vintage rhinestone owl brooch with the um, brown stones and clear. Silver tone, vintage little owl. We're gonna do 10 on him. He's cool. I like him. I like him a lot. I have these really cool vintage clip-ons. No maker marks, but super cool if I can get it in my hand. Super cool, like Lucite maybe. Really different. Five dollars. A 
couple more left and then we'll go into the church jewelry and then we will open up the Savers jewelry jar. So these are little metal pink button earrings. They are for pierced ears. It looks like it may have a little boo-boo right there. Uh, we'll do three bucks on those. These are hematite earrings. Super pretty. $5. And last but not least, we have this brooch. Silver tone with black cabochon, faux pearls, the little danglies. No maker marks, $5. All right, that is part two. Now we go on to part three. <laughs> Remember to check that sold list down in the comments section before emailing. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see what we got from the church sale. <clears throat> so I picked out this I thought was cool. I did get um, a few other things while I was there that weren't jewelry, um, but it's there, you know, I put it in, I put, the, put it in my booths. <laughs> I, I'm putting, still putting stuff in my booths, but I'm being very particular and not doing a lot, you know, just in case I do decide to leave, it'll just be less I have to move out. So this guy is not marked, but he is massive. Check that out. So this way he is three and a half inches by five inches. Really great condition. Got the little faux pearls. So this would look really great on a winter pea coat. You know, now the colder weather is coming in. Um, a nice thick coat this would look great on. So I'm going to do $10 on this guy. <clears throat> this I loved. I saw this and I had to have it. It is absolutely stunning. Um, okay, it doesn't glow anywhere. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit in here. There's a little bit of gunk. Um, but I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's kind of got like opalites um, and the purple rhinestones with the AB right here. So pretty. We're going to do 12. We're going to do 12 on him. Really, really pretty. <clears throat> then I found this. This is Gianni Bernini Sterling Silver. It is a piece um, pendant, $71 price tag. All right, but I'm going to sell it to you guys for $12. Makes a great stocking stuffer. Then I got, let me, I got a few things that are in little baggies. I thought this guy was cool because he's a bat and Halloween is coming. Um, he is made out of bone on a little safety pin so we're gonna do we're gonna do seven dollars on him he is he is definitely unique you can even take the um safety pin out and make this into a necklace or a bracelet so seven dollars on that little cutie we have this little bracelet <clears throat> it's gold tone with um, rhinestones. It does not have any maker marks, but it is in fabulous condition. And it is seven inches. Let me just check again. No. No maker mark, seven inches, and we're gonna do um, six bucks.
Oh, this I think this I think is sterling. So I picked this up and it has these little dried flowers in there. And then the tag says I think it says MWS MWS925 Mexico. So we are going to do a little bit of testing. Good, good. Checks out, look at that baby shine bright blue. All right, so I don't know who MWS is, right? That's who it was, but look how pretty. So let's get a measurement. It's um, eight inches. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do $24. It's a really nice shape. Oh, let me put it back in the box. All right, all right. Then we have a couple of bracelets. Now, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what this said. Oh, it's a Joan Rivers. So then what does it say? Hold on. I thought it was trying to say Monet. Oh, it says do it now. Do it now. Oh gosh, I thought, because it was all wrapped up and I, you know how you're like looking at jewelry, you're trying to hurry and I thought it was trying to say Monet and I'm like, I don't get it. So I just grabbed it anyway. I'm glad I did because it's a Joan Rivers. I didn't even think to look there. It says do it now. It is a seven and a quarter inch. Now I wonder if you look this up, Joan Rivers do it now bracelet. Look at that, 40, it's going for $45 new. 40, yep, yeah, about 45. Let's see if there are any solds. That's what's important. One uh, silver tone, one for 40. Interesting. Okay. So what we're going to do on the gold tone one is I'm going to do 20 bucks. $20, do it now, Joan Rivers, seven and a quarter inches, 20 bucks. Then I saw this one. I thought this was pretty because it is definitely vintage. Really pretty, like uh, textured gold tone link bracelet. Oh, no way. Look, it's KJL. I didn't even look at that. I just grabbed it because I thought it was pretty. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, well, it's KJL. So that's Kenneth J. Lane. Wowza. Okay, I should really be bringing these to auction, but this is super pretty. So I will sell it here. It is seven and a half inches, Kenneth J. Lane, and I'm going to do 20 on this one as well. This one's really cool. Wow, you guys, and I just grabbed those because I liked the looks of it because th there were so many people at this church sale that you literally just had to like, you didn't even have time to like really inspect it. You just had to like grab it. <laughs> okay, so I grabbed this little guy. Okay, so he's marked too, but I cannot read that. Uh... It looks like it wants to say Lisner. Uh, 
but I'm not sure. I wonder if we do a Google image search because, you know, you don't want to sell something for $5 if it's worth 200 right? So uh, let's actually do a little bit of a, I'm gonna teach you guys a little something. So you can go into your Google app, right? You click the little picture, the little camera, and it will come up like this. So you're gonna, oh, you guys can't really see that. There we go. You're gonna tap and let's see what comes up. Oops. Jeez, these all look so expensive. I knew the Trifari Jelly Bellies were gonna come up, but I wasn't sure on this one. So um, I'm still gonna do research on this one because look at the prices on all these. Um, I know it's not, these. this is not the brooch, but if anybody has any information on this little guy, let me know. Let's try doing it one more time. Yeah, same thing. All right. So um, I'm gonna do more research on this. If any of you guys have any information on it, that's beautiful. I collect the Joan Rivers bees. See, here's something similar, but not really. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on this little guy, and he's going to be held off on for now. All right, so let's look at a couple more things. I grabbed this because I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Bring you guys back in a little bit. Um, I forget the name of this flower. But you guys let me know in the in the uh, comment section. It's on a piece of wood. It's very beautiful. Um, I'm going to do $6 on that. That's gorgeous. And then this brooch I grabbed because I thought it was just so beautiful. I don't see any maker marks on it, but look at how gorgeous this is. It's metal, just painted, absolutely stunning. You know what, let's do a quick Google image on this one too. So these are similar, but not quite the same. Yeah, I don't know. All right, it's okay. So I'm gonna do um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do twelve on this. I think that's really beautiful, super beautiful. Okay, then we have these. This is a set. So you have the screw backs. What does it say? Oh, these are Coro. I didn't see. I didn't even look. I just grabbed. Coro. Oh, I hate this stuff because it gets all stuck everywhere. And is this marked? See, this isn't marked, but I bet you it's Coro as well. Wow, so pretty. Oh no, it's missing one. <gasps> Poop. Well, I think these stones are pretty easy to replace. Like, even if you wanted to take one from the earring, that if you're not going to wear the earrings, and they're prong set, so you can just pop them right in. That's a bummer. I didn't even notice that. All right, so for the set, I'm going to sell it as a set, since if you want to fix the one rhinestone, um, I'm going to do the set for... I'm going to do the set for 20. 
I think even with the one missing, it's still a gorgeous set. Okay, that's Coro, 20 bucks. All right, last but not least, you know, let's put all this back in here because we're gonna have we're gonna need room for oh geez, I'm dropping stuff. We're gonna need room for the savers jewelry jar. I saved the best for last. It is well, it was marked 14 karat. It is a little pendant with a pearl. It is marked on the back 14 karat. Okay, so, oh geez, I am just knocking everything over. I had, I had way too much coffee today, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> way too much coffee, okay. Let's get a nice, and it does look like gold. It, gold just has this like smoothness about it, like almost like a soft looking, metal like a, a liquidy buttery soft look to it um as opposed to something that is gold tone like the coloring you know plus obviously it's marked but you know sometimes gold isn't marked all right so let's check it out I really should have cleaned the um, stone a little bit better because sometimes it smokes when you use other um, other acids on here. Like I use this stone for 10 karat as well. So that's why it does that. You should really have a different stone for every different acid that you use. So you're not um, making it smoke like that. But I do think that this is truly 14 karat. I mean, the line has not gone anywhere. And I usually leave the acid on um, for 14 karat or 10 karat a little bit longer, 30 seconds or so, because um, sometimes it will take a little bit to eat away at. But this looks like it's holding very nicely. So yeah, sorry, the phone rang. Um, well, it was a text actually, I had to answer. Um, so I am going to offer this to you guys for um, $75. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so let's put that back in here. And let's crack open that jewelry jar. Now, I got it at Savers. It was $20.49. Let's back you up a little bit. Um, there were two available. The other one was filled with all plastic bangles. Like the whole thing was like plastic bangles. So I grabbed this one. I didn't really look through it or look at it because I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it anyway. So I'm not even gonna look. Let me get a scissor because it's all the way on the other side of my office. And let's see what we got in here for $20.50. All right. All right. Can you guys see everything? So this is a plastic <laughs> white necklace. There's nothing fancy to it. It is vintage though. It's an 11 and a half inch drop and I'll just do $2. I don't know what this was from. Maybe that's two something. It's red Jasper though. So let's hold on to that. This has a lot of wear to the chain, but I think these pieces are really cool. Maybe somebody can repurpose this because the chain is really worn. 
Um, I'm just going to do $2 on this. Ooh, look, we have a matching set of earrings. These are vintage, and they're actually in pretty good shape. How pretty. I think they're glass. Beautiful. We're going to do, focus check first, we're going to do $5 on those. Here's another earring. We'll hang on to that. Oh, here it is right here. Yay. So these are clip-ons. These are actually pretty though. They're, again, they look like they're in good, good shape. So let's do $5. All right, this silver tone, it's multi-strand. It's got glass beads and plastic. Really pretty beachy style necklace. Let me try to get you guys in a little bit. There is an extender. Without it, we're looking at a seven inch drop. And I'll do $5 on that, that's pretty. All right, that looks like a pendant, maybe. Let's just hold on to that for now. Let's get the bigger pieces out of here. This is gonna go into crafting because it is peeling. So um, this will just be a dollar. Where's my craft bag? I don't have one, so I'll just put it on the floor right here for now. This is a silver tone bar necklace. It's actually not bad. It's not in bad shape. Or if anybody wanted to, if anyone wanted to repurpose and put these links on here, do like three like this. How cool would that be? See, look at that. So, um, but this is in good shape. It looks like just a collar necklace. I will do $3. Oh, look, here's the other one. It was part of a um, earring. Doo-doo. Here it is. Oh, but I think it could be fixed. I think it just came undone. It has to just be put in there and tightened. Okay, well, you get the point. It can definitely go in there. Um, it is just plastic though. It is not bone. They are clip-ons. You just have to reattach it and you're good to go. I will do $4. This, hmm. This is by a brand called You and I. Am I out of focus again? You and I. Um, it's, it's a little grungy, so we're gonna put that into craft. So that'll be a dollar. We have an earring back. Oh look, we have this piece. This looks like, um, it's not turquoise, it could just be like a, a type of agate. We'll hang on to that. This is a cute little brooch. Oh, it's marked. Oh, it's Avon. It's NR, Nina Ricci for, for Avon. Um, it's got a little bit of wear. I'll do $2. This is a shell necklace, collar necklace. We'll do $2. These are just plastic black, gray, and gold, gold tone. 12 and a half inch drop, I'll do $4. Friends, oh, it's not, I thought it was uh, stretchy, tis not, so you open it like so. And it has all these stones that are real, looks like a bunch of moss agates maybe. Let's do a measurement. It is a seven inch bracelet. It's got a little bit of wear on the clasp. I'll do $5. 
I don't see any makers on this, but it is very pretty. Oh no, it's missing stones. Yeah, it's missing quite a bit. So this will be a dollar in craft, but I hope maybe somebody can fix that because that's a really pretty necklace. One dollar. Let's look at this big mama. Oh wow. Yeah, it is very worn. I mean, check this out. It is huge. Huge, huge, huge. It's a nine inch drop. I'll do $4 because of the wear on the chain. There's another shell necklace. I'll just do $2. This is a gold tone vintage super thick chain necklace. Sorry, it goes like this. Wait, is it backwards? There. Okay, so let me open it and give you guys a total, a total length. It's 24 inches total length, and I will do $5. Let's look at this, this looks really cool. There's no name on it. Check it out. Oh, come on. Maybe it'll be in the bottom of the jar. Let's, let's hold on to it for now. Let's dump out the rest. Okay, nothing left. I don't see it. All right, well, let's keep going. Ooh, this is Monet. Check this out. All right, so this made up for <laughs> some missing stoned items because, boom, right there. And it is in very good condition, and it's got a chain in there. So let's give a total length measurement. It is 27 inches total length. And let's do um, $14 on the Monet. These are all glass. It is super de duper long. So let's get a measurement. We'll do a drop measurement. 29 inches drop. And I will do $6. So I think this is broken, but it's just plastic. So we are going to craft that. This has a tag. This is Express. Mm, it's got some wear on it. I'll do $2. This has a tag. This is icing. It is very similar to the Simply Vera by Vera Wang, but this is icing. And we're going to put this in the craft lot as well. It's missing a jump ring and there's some gold tone lost on the chain. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know why this has some gunk on the back, but this is actually quite pretty. It's plastic with the gold tone metal and some silver, silver tone. It is a 15, 15 inch drop and I'll do $4 because I think it does need to be cleaned. 
And then last but not least, we have this super worn necklace. So we are going to craft that as well for a dollar. So unfortunately, we don't have the little green piece to this, which thinks because it's in good condition and it's quite pretty. So this unfortunately will go into crafting for a dollar. And these as well, I don't know what these went to. So these will be a dollar each. They are real stone. This is definitely red jasper. I'm not quite sure what this is. So a dollar each on that, okay. Well, that's it everybody, that wraps up this video. Uh, let's do a quick reminder. Please follow, um, please check out and subscribe to Margie, Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. I will leave the link to her channel in the description box. Uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel, uh, me and Kyle will be doing a live variety sale. Um, everything from fall and Halloween items to shoes to jewelry to hard goods, modern and vintage um, you know, trinkety things, jewelry boxes, stuff like that. So make sure you guys come hang out on my channel. And then Friday morning will be the purse sale. Probably I'm tr going to try to shoot for, um, 11 or noon Eastern standard time, somewhere around there. So I can get, um, you know, the majority of your emails answered before I leave to go, uh, for us to go hang out with my sister and her husband. Uh, which actually, um, that's how I met Kyle, a uh, quick story, is because my brother-in-law, my sister's husband and him, um, are best friends. So yeah, then we met and now we're married. So it's pretty cool that, you know, best friends are now brother-in-laws. And we're going to go over to uh, see them and watch the new Hocus Pocus 2 movie. So uh, Friday morning purse sale. Wednesday live variety sale. Check out Margie and subscribe. And yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe right down here. It's free. Make sure you click the bell to all. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Check that sold list down in the comment section before you email me and we will see you in the next one.